good morning dear all uh, this is a very long time since i didn't post any any kind of video for open dss and matlab integration uh, in previous two videos uh, we learned about how to run a snap load flow and how to integrate a pv plant or pv array to any grid in a snap load flow uh, in the present video uh, i am going to show you how to run a load flow uh, by uh, and how to insert a load shape into the load flow means this is a kind of uh, daily load flow where we run a load flow for a given time duration so we have taken the same same system uh, there is a 11 kv source and uh, there is a bus number one two three four and out of these four buses loads are connected on bus number two three and four and in uh, in addition to that there is a transformer connected between uh, source and bus number one having a voltage uh, a step down uh, rating of 11 kV to uh, point zero point four one five kilovolt. Uh, so now coming to the coding part. Here it is the master file first. Here I have named uh, the master file as the new for the creation of any circuit and the name is IEEE underscore 4 this circuit, ha this circuit has three phases and uh, the base for this circuit is 11 kV the starting bus I have named it as source bus uh, after that uh, there is an intentional 30 degree delay is provided this delay is provided to counter the phase shift due to the delta star transformer i have connected a delta star transformer here again new is a command to create any element so new have been inserted here to create any a transformer the name of the transformer is sub 1 phases of transformer is 3 transformer has two windings primary and secondary winding one is connected to the bus is source bus and connection is the delta type and the kilovolt is 11 and the kva capacity is 2000 again the winding two is connected to a bus i have named it as the bus number one connection is a star kilovolt is 0.415 kilovolt in the same kva rating then after we have redirect here a line.dss file and load.dss file uh, in this video i have intentionally commented the pv panel dss because i am not going to integrate pv panel in this video so coming to the line.dss file it is same as the previous video here there are three lines first line is connected between bus number one and bus number two as shown is the figure but then the uh, next line here uh, the name of the line is two three and it connected between bus two and three and the last line is or you can say branch and name is three four and connected between bus three to bus four the r and x parameter is written here so after that these are the load data so i as already told you that this is a kind of the daily load flow so we have first created a load so load shape we can create number of load shape but for the simplicity i have created a single load shape again new i have written here to create an element uh, and the load shape is the command to create a load shape in the load flow uh, this is an inbuilt command of open dss i have given the name of the load shape as the vavan jan the number of point interval for the load shape i have i have given is 24 npts is the inbuilt command of open dss it stands for number of points an interval i have taken here one means uh, when we switch from one point to uh, one point to another it will count as a one hour and again the mult mult is a 
command to give a number of points that you that we will use as a uh, load curve points here we have given 24 points in this mult command again we have created three loads which are connected on bus number 2 3 and 4 the ratings of these loads are given here kilowatt and in terms of kilowatt power factor and their voltage rating uh, their minimum and maximum range of the voltage also given here and to insert a load shape to these three loads uh, there is inbuilt command for open DSA that is daily D A I L Y and in daily we have to give the name uh, as named here for the load shape Bhavanjan the same name I have uh, the same name that here Bhavanjan for load shape I have inserted here uh, after daily we can create a number of load shape and we can uh, accordingly according to our wish we can vary the uh, load shape assigned to each load suppose we can create here three kind of different load shapes and we can assign three uh, individual load shape to all these three loads but for simplicity i have given a same load shape load shape to all these three loads so now coming to uh, MATLAB coding part where we will interface this open DSS to MATLAB so this is the my code for load flow first CLC clear and close all then after this is command to interface the open DSS to MATLAB once we interfaced our open DSS code to MATLAB program and then after we will write dss text dot command uh, compile the path of uh, here we can select here the path of the file of master we will paste here as and then after we will write the master dot dss again uh, in this uh, video I am going to show you some extra uh, commands that will give us some more features of OpenDSS first I am going to show you uh, an element measuring element that is provided in OpenDSS that is energy meter so to insert energy meter there is a command first we need to create the energy meter that is new energy meter then name it dash I have given the name MAIN main and we need to place it so for the placement of this energy meter first we write the name of the uh, element of the substation or grid uh, element where we want to place so I have to place it on the transformer sub 1 uh, again we need to decide that on which terminal we are placing the energy meter so I have given it 1 one means we are placing this energy meter on the primary side or high voltage side of the transformer suppose we write it here 2 in place of 1 then it means that open DSS will understand that we have connected our energy meter on secondary terminal or low voltage terminal now there is a second command a second element uh, and useful element in open DSS that is the monitor monitor is basically uh, a prototype of ammeter and voltmeter here we can measure uh, current and voltages at each instant in the uh, daily load flow so for that again we will create the monitor by the command new monitor and we, gi we give the name as again main again we have to connect it at somewhere so I have connected it on the transformer sub 1 and, uh, and the, by for choosing the terminal on which we are, we are going to connect the monitor so I have chosen here terminal 1 uh, so again we have first for snap uh, load flow we just write here dss text command equals to solve suppose at this point we run the load flow we will get a load flow for only one instant but uh, that I have shown already in our previous video but uh, to move ahead and to run a daily load flow there is a command dss text command equals to set 
and mode is daily step size is one hour means one hour indicate here that between two interval of the load shape there is a one hour gap and the number equals to one DSS, again there is a command dss text dot command equals to set hour equals to zero means our load flow will start from zero hour and then we need to write a for loop for i equals to 1 is to 24 i have written here 24 because i am going to run the load flow to for 24 hours but if you require to uh, run a load flow for different time duration so we accordingly we can replace this 24 now once we have set here the set mode daily and now when we write here dss text command equals to solve inside the for loop our load flow program will run in a lo uh, daily load flow environment again to export the data of energy meter there is a command dss text dot command equals to export sorry uh, here export meter to run the uh, to export the data of energy meter uh, to export the data of our monitor there is a command export monitor and here in case of monitor uh, I will emphasize on this monitor because here we need to remember that we should give the name of the monitor so as the name of the monitor is main uh, actually the thing is that we can connect um, we can connect more than one monitor in our code so as we have connected here a single monitor and, and its name is main so we should give the name of the monitor here uh, suppose someone have not connected the monitor energy meter so there are some inbuilt command that without connecting any monitor energy meter also we can export current and voltages and accordingly by exporting those current and voltages we can extract the value of energy and power so there are commands like dss text command export current uh, dss text command export voltages and again and in addition to that there are many commands like dss text command export powers export losses and like that uh, we, uh, you can refer to the manual of open dss for that i cannot cover all the command in a single video so uh, there are some previous data stored let me delete it first Now I am going to uh, run the load flow uh, through MATLAB. So our program has run already, and you can see here that we have exported four CSV files. First, we are going to our voltages. So we can see here at source bus the base kilovolt is 11. That it is actually the line voltage bus 1, bus 2, and bus 3, and bus 4 due to the transformation ratio the base kilovolt has changed to 0.415 kilovolt uh, in column D it is the uh, magnitude of actual phase voltages and these are the phase voltages which is reducing due, because it is a radial network these are the angles uh, when we convert this actual magnitude to per unit, so we can get uh, this voltage uh, per file. So this is about the voltage. Coming to the current, uh, here we can see for extracting current there are different uh, you can say elements for which we need to extract the current first one is the source then second one is a transformer then there are lines like line 1 2 2 3 3 4 and the loads that loads how much they are consuming the currents these are the current magnitudes and we can say that it is a balanced network I have chosen here for the video so in phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3 the magnitudes are same but angles are displaced by 120 degree 
now go to, uh, we are going to see the monitor exports file here we can see that we have run the load flow for 24 hours so we are getting uh, 24 voltages at the transformer primary sides so as we uh, we have uh, selected transformer primary side as a source so the magnitude is not sourcing um, sorry the magnitude is not changing with respect to time but when we talk about the currents so here the currents for phase one this is varying with respect to time and it is a uh, again balanced so at the primary side the for each phase the current magnitude for each phase and at and at all times are same but the angle are displaced by 120 degree Now this is the meter circuit means it is the output file of our energy meter here there are several types of output like first is give the uh, energy in kilowatt hour unit here at first our energy was 8 then again it going keeps it it keeps going increasing as it is integrating so uh, after after the, at the end of 24 hours the total energy consumed is 162 hours again it also gives the reactive power energy and in the same fashion it is going on increasing and at the end of the daily load flow it is 79 kVA hour and the peak load occurs at each uh, interval of time also given here we can easily see here and the same there are many data uh, so uh, for energy meter also there is a separate section in open DSS manual and you can refer if you like to uh, use more extensively so this was the video for daily load flow hope uh, you will found this useful and you may get some help in your research or your uh, project work uh, thank you and that's all for this moment